Welcome guys to Miss Puff Creative Corner. This is Claudette. Today I'll be sharing with you how I create these cute mini keepsake recipe clipboards. If you're interested in seeing this, please do stick around. I think this is an awesome, unique gift idea. It would be a great item for craft fair. If you have that family recipe that you want to give to your other family members. This is an awesome presentation. It's also great for when you're swapping recipes at work. If you're hosting dinner, this would be a great display for your menu around the dinner table. The gift given ideas with this is endless. On top of that, it's very inexpensive. Did I say what a great presentation this is? And plus, it's very easy to make. One of the things I'll be featuring today is the What's Cooking stamp set along with its coordinating die. If you buy it as a bundle, you'll save 10%. Of course, you could purchase it individually, but who doesn't like a savings? I think this is an awesome set for around this season where we do a lot of cooking and a lot of baking. I just love the cooking utensils that it comes with. The sentiments, I love what the sentiments are saying. Fonts in the cursive is cute says happiness is homemade what's cooking sending you a dash of kindness and a spoonful of love that is so nice and look at the dies i think the cutting board is the only piece that doesn't have a stamp set but look at the sizes of the cutting board this is a really nice set the designer series paper that i'll be using today is called beauty of the earth these are by stamping up as well as the stamp set and dies and they come in 12 by 12 and you get 12 pieces of um, the designer series paper and they have designs on either side. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Orlando, Florida. These are some beautiful fall and winter patterns. So I'm going to flip through these quickly so you could get an idea of the beautiful patterns that comes within this pack before we get into our tutorial. And one thing I love about Stampin' Up! is the coordination of colors. Some of these patterns I find very busy, but if you add one of the solid coordinating colors, it's going to make a big difference when you're creating your projects, as you would see demonstrated here in my project today. So let's jump into our project. So you're going to need some chipboard. If you think about it, we probably all have some chipboard lying around. So we're going to be doing some upcycling today. So this chipboard that I'm using comes within our monthly craft kit. So I'm just going to recycle this. I'm going to cut it down in half. And also your designer series paper comes with some chipboard. You could use that too as well. So just look around your home and see what chipboards you have and upcycle. I went ahead and printed out some recipes, four different recipe on one eight and a half by 11 inch paper. So we'll even that out, cut those out. I laminate those with my Scotch laminator. And then with the chipboard, I cut that out with my Fisker guillotine cutter. And if you're interested in finding out a little bit more about that um, Fisker cutter, I also did a video on that. It's a great inexpensive guillotine cutter. It does the job that I need to do. So my chipboards are measuring approximately six and one eighth of an inch by four and a half inches. What I'm going to do is show you how I layered the double-sided tape on either side of my chipboard. I use a five inch wide double-sided tape that I got from Amazon. So once we get our double-sided tape on either side of our chipboard, we're going to get our designer series paper ready. My designer series paper is measuring 7 inches by 5 and a half inches. You want your designer series paper to measure at least a half an inch around the border of your chipboard. That way you'll have enough to fold over your chipboard. I'm going to take my bone folder and rub it into the double-sided tape so it could stick well to my chipboard. Then I'm going to take off the backing on only one side of the chipboard and I'm going to center that down on top of the designer series paper. Make sure you have your designer series paper face down. The side of the designer series paper you want to be seen, make sure you have that section face down. I'm going to take my bone folder and work that double-sided tape 
in, make sure it sticks well to the designer series paper. Next, I'm gonna take our Take Your Pick tool. So we have a stylus to the end. I'm gonna use the smallest section to make a score line up around the parameters of the chipboard. And this is gonna help minimize any cracking when I start to fold those edges over on the chipboard. So next what I'm gonna do is take the chipboard and stand it up on the sides and make a deeper impression of that score line. And this is gonna make it easier for us to fold it over. So next what I'm gonna go ahead and do is cut off each point at, at every corner. And they call it a miter cut. I'm gonna make it more of a circular cut. I'm gonna fold it down and make sure I get enough cut off and it's not overlapping on itself. And then I could trim just a smidge more off so when I fold is nice and flat and I don't have too much of the designer series paper there. So that looks good. So we're gonna do that to the remainder three corners. If you guys are getting any creative value from this video, go ahead and smash that like button down below so YouTube could show my videos to other people like yourself. If you're interested in any of the products that I use today, I'll be listing most of the products that I use down in the description box down below. So once I've mitered each corner, I'm going to go ahead and take off the next backing off of the double-sided tape. Then we're going to go ahead and just fold those edges over on our chipboard. It doesn't matter which end you start with first. And you could also bring in your bone folder and smooth those edges, make them nice and tight and flat. And that's going to help it to adhere to your chipboard nicely. If you guys are new to my channel and you like what you see here, consider hitting the subscribe button as well as the bell icon down below so you could be notified when I upload my latest videos. So next we're going to create our back end. So we have a designer series paper that's measuring 6 inches by 4 and 1 8 of an inch. But before we put that down, we're going to add some wet glue, which in I'm using the Art glitter glue because on the designer series paper on the edges there's no glue there just the double-sided tape in the center and I particularly love the art glitter glue because when it dries it does not dry tacky and that's what I love about it you could create this project for any occasion you could add a prayer to the front of it you could add someone's favorite poem this would be good for Christmas holidays so next I'm gonna bring out the remainder recipe that I printed out. I went ahead and laminated my recipes using my scotch laminator. And I really love this banana bread recipe because the colors are just vibrant and it just screams, oh my gosh. Look at the color of the banana, it pops. It brings the color out of the designer series paper and the banana bread itself, this recipe is so inviting. So now for your clips, you could use any clips that you have lying around. These mini gold clips Stampin' Up had a couple years ago. You could get these off of Amazon. The black binder clip, you could get these at your Dollar Tree if you have one close by. As you can see, I use on one of the other clipboards. The Dollar Tree also have these green and pink clamp. You could use these too as well. Just decorate them up with some ribbon. So we're gonna layer up the back with this cinnamon cider cardstock. And again, we're pulling out that cinnamon color out of this busy designer series paper and we're making it work. So we're just gonna add some glue to the back of our recipe. And remember it's laminated, so it may have more slippage than you're used to. And we're gonna glue those two pieces together. My recipe layer is measuring three and five eighths by five inches and the Cinnamon cardstock is measuring three and three fourths by five and one eighth of an inch. Next, what I'm gonna do is hot glue the mini gold clip to the clipboard, and I'm just gonna decorate it with a yellow ribbon, which is gonna play on the banana, and I'm gonna add some die cuts to decorate it from the What's Cooking dies. And guys, you could also add magnets to the back of this, and your recipient could hang it on the refrigerator the ideas, like I say, are endless. If you guys enjoyed this video, you may also like the video where I transform a Dollar Tree notepad into two skinny notepads, and those notepads you could use to collect recipes. So go ahead and check that out.
So on the die cuts, I'm going to add the mixing bowl and the spatula. I'm just going to pop the mixing bowl up with some dimensionals to the bottom and just add some multi-purpose glue to the top. And then with the spatula, I'm just going to stick it behind of the mixing bowl and just going to add some glue to that. I think these came out awesome. So let's bring in the remainder of the clipboards. I hope you guys got creative value from this video. Thank you guys for tuning in. This is Claudette and I'll catch you guys on the next video.